Hey everyone, Brandon Prine here. I'm in my grandma's 99 Pontiac, Montana minivan. I have a quick question for anyone who may know a couple questions for you. First up is we got these two little lights on the dash. One's a P in a circle, one's an I in a circle. They've just recently started coming up, she said. The van's not running and they're on right now. I'll start it up for you in a second. And as you can see, they'll stay on. And watch the gas gauge. So you see, it was right around half and it went up to full. So, does anyone know what that could be? What could be causing that problem as well? But primarily, those two little lights, they're starting to irritate us. So, why they're on, we don't, I mean, primarily, we don't know why they're on. So, you may or may not notice the hood is up on the van. Probably can't see it. Don't, want, don't really want to show too much of the house. But, um, I just finished resetting the uh, engine, engine computer and uh because it was had a hard shift so did the trick unhooked the battery touched the cables i haven't drove i haven't driven it yet so i'll have to wait and see how it uh shifts the other problem we're having is with the stereo so you can see most times with these vans if they're running you get uh the display on the radio even though we turn on the lights got nothing so i'm gonna quickly turn it on for you i'm gonna show you what happens Gotta be careful. I gotta, gotta be quick because the copyright police, of course. As you can see, nothing. Let me shut off the van. Don't want to waste the gas. And let me show you also what the gas gauge does. Let me turn it on. It goes back to goes back to a little bit over quarter, a little over half a tank. I don't know why it does that. So, anyways, let's go to the rear auxiliary because I can uh, show you. Nothing. As you can see, there is nothing going on. And also, gas gauge is uh, sitting right there. So, it's too bad this radio. Everything else works on this radio. CD player, the graphic equalizer on the right. Everything works on it. Except for the display. Uh, I'm thinking... we were, Sorry, we originally thought it was a fuse. But we've checked all the fuses. Nothing's blown. So, if anyone knows what that could be that problem as well. Um, I'm not going to be fixing it. If, if it's something internal with the radio... It's going to be going in the garbage. We'll put a new, we'll put a new stereo in here. But uh, if anyone knows if it's if there is a quick fix for that, it has the red display. That that actually shows you how old it is. Um, how old this van is. Uh, now they have uh, the green the green lit letters. Uh, I believe they're uh, LED. So, anyways, I'll show you other one other thing on this van. Not too often you see a Montana with under two hundred thousand. Yeah, this one has not hit two hundred thousand yet. It has what is it? A hundred and ninety-five thousand on it, so under two hundred, which is unusual for these vans. But uh, this one's in pretty good shape all, all around. Uh, my van uh, that's at uh, Emily loves her dog's house, mother's house, um, has actually under. I believe it has under under one hundred fifty thousand. I don't remember. It has, it has low mileage for the year, so and it's a uh, oh, oh one or oh two. But anyways, if anyone has any answers for these uh, two questions, please let me know. I'm going to try Googling them, but uh, I figure I'll throw up a video. Someone might know the answer. So I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.